What's up guys, it's me Jimmy So the question is that how do you get experience to apply for programming or tech technology jobs? So the question is quite interesting. How to get experience when you're applying for programming or technology jobs? And then my answer is simple. For programming is simple. Build your portfolio. For technology is simple. Build your portfolio. So most probably I'm going to answer the, the programming first. So if you're a programmer, you need to have a solar portfolio. As a web developer, you need at least 4 to 10 websites. Okay, let's make it 6 to 10 website. You can build any kind of crappy website in the world you want. I'm not talking about a crappy website in a sense. I mean UI, UX. I'm talking about the concept. You can make a website save the ocean. I mean just write that the meat I mean stuff in it why we need to save the ocean just build that kind of website number second website you need to build blue yeti is real I mean I just saw a big com just buy I mean a, a domain if you cannot afford that dot com just buy a info which is like one bug I mean build this kind of website right I mean just a dummy content in it at least if you have 10 website 6 to 10 you can you will be having a portfolio because a lot of people say Jimmy Jimmy listen I need a portfolio but no one is giving me a work so how I can build a portfolio no one is even letting me to build a website free for for, for them I will be telling you just build whatever the website you want I mean it doesn't the website should not need to make sense that's the thing to make sense is your design is your programming is your coding so this is my tip for the web developer not for the programmer uh, if you are android or ios same build what kind whatever kind of i mean games or application put it on the play store or or the apple store now if you are just like a computer science i mean so here's a thing make sure to contribute to some kind of open source code i mean go to stack overflow make your profile i mean uh, go to get uh, what is called like GitHub, yeah. I'm um, GitHub. I mean, I also have a profile on my GitHub. Maybe I will show you some another day. So go to GitHub. I mean, just try to contribute into open source, and then I mean, you can link into GitHub. I mean, this bazillion way you can contribute to some kind of programming every day, and then you can make a portfolio out of it. You can easily, I mean. Um, uh, because I uh, what, what what was it? Unity? Yeah, I was just dwelling by a game in Unity. I just upload on my GitHub, and then now that stuff become a portfolio, and then I put on my resume. So now that that kind of stuff is for a program. And now for the technology, if you want a network engineer or whatever server, just go to your free local NGOs, churches, mosques, temples, and then ask them. You are going to handle their I mean, audio equipment stuff because mostly audio equipment stuff are digital right now, so it's only plug into the computer. Okay, again, audio equipment stuff with their server, these two things, and then when you're trying to I mean, fix a troubleshoot or try to do whatever you want, like a maintenance, give your smartphone to someone. I mean, for example, like this one. And then ask someone there, I mean, to capture your images while you're working on it. Like, this. so by doing this, you could go to Spice Work. Uh, uh, this video is not sponsored by Spice Work, by the way. You can go to Spice Work and upload your images there and then make as a project. You can say, I fixed this one for uh, this church, I fixed this one for that NGO. Here you go. Technology portfolio. A lot of people think that uh, maybe you only need a portfolio in. To up when you are applying for a coding job no also you need a portfolio when you are applying for a server technician for an IT technician computer technician whatever so I hope this answered the question at the end of the day never stop learning keep going on check out the links in the description box below I want to hear from you what do you think about that do you think I mean my advice is right or wrong